Hello there, Galactica Transtica here with another tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can remove silence to create individual one shot samples. So I've got this kick drum here and what I want to create is one shot multiple samples of that kick drum some I want to apply distortion to which I've created a channel as you can see there and some I want to apply reverb to so the obvious way to do it is to click on it and cut out the samples individually which takes ages so we're not going to do it that way that's too long so what I'm going to do I'm going to use strip silence so I click on the the region and then pressing control and X together launches strip silence or remove silences so what I'm looking for I, I want to keep the tail end to the the it of the kick drum so you can control that with the threshold settings here so if I go there now, as you can see it's taking out the tail end there which I don't want so I want to keep that so and then you just press OK and it uh, split the kick drum up and remove the silence now that I've got that I can start bringing some of these down into my other regions so see if I want that one hold on see if I want that one there and I want that one there that one and the distortion Okay, so now I've got my samples, so I've got different samples now. So that's that. And then I've got these ones here. So let's start adding the effects onto these. So the distortion one, we're going to start adding the distortion. So I've got my channel here. Now, what I want, we don't want that. That's just what logic automatically puts in um, to try and help, but it it doesn't really. I don't find it very helpful to be honest. So you go to ascend. So you need to do it as ascend. I'm doing it as a send effect because I don't want to lose some of the the noise, the sound of the drums. Whereas if I put it on the channel, the distortion on the channel itself, it it would affect the the uh, original signal. But a send effect keeps the original signal, but diverts a copy of it and adds that effect onto it. I'll put a chart up. Um, in a moment so let's add the distortion so bus 10 I've sent it to so we need to some distortion here see if we can find some so let's have a bit of, bit of drive there and see what I can do with it. That's a bit 
too much. Um, that's not too bad. Um, it, obviously, this is only for demonstration purposes only, so obviously I'd spend more time doing it and make a very good job of it. But this is only to teach you um, how to do it. So, next one, reverb. Select like the region. And then, let's just remove those out of the way. So, I'm going to go to bus 11. So, bus 11, I'm going to apply some reverb to this one. So, the reverb, I'm going to set it as holes. So that's tested as maximum, and, and then as you can hear, you can hear the reverb. So I have created sa sample three samples. So I've got the original sample here. I've got the distorted samples here and I got reverb samples there and that is how you can quickly remove the silence and quickly get the samples that you need. I hope that has helped and subscribe to the channel, give us a like. I know it's a broken record but it does help the channel a lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.